वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन लेसन नंबर फाइव टेम्परेचर पार्ट टू बिफोर प्रोसीड टू सेकेंड पार्ट लेट्स हैव अ लुक वॉट वी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सन रेज फॉलोइंग ऑन द अर्थ आर स्ट्रेट एंड पैरल टू ईच अदर हवेवर वी हैव सीन दैट ड्यू टू स्पेरिकल शेप ऑफ द अर्थ एंड द रिजल्टंट कर्वेचर ऑफ द सर्फेस दे ऑक्युपाय अ लार्जर और लेसर एरिया दिज लीड्स to unequal distribution of the heat received from the sun resulting in decreasing temperature from the equator to the north and south poles based on the distribution of temperature the earth can be divided into torrid temperate and frigid zones or tropical temperate and polar regions let us perform an experiment to see that there is a difference in the heating and cooling of land and water do it yourself take two pots of the same size and fill them with water equally at sunrise keep one of the pots inside the house and the other one outside see that it remains in the sun all the time as shown in the figure in the afternoon walk barefoot on the floor inside the house and feel the temperature of the floor feel the temperature of the water in the pot inside perform the same activity outside the house and get the feel of the temperature of land and water kept in the sun write down your observations about the temperatures of land and water do this again around 7 in the evening note your observations again now you can remove the pots discuss all the observations with your friends or parents always remember we normally think that air gets heated due to the sun's rays and because of the hot air the land and water get heated but in reality what happens is as follows first land and water get heated due to sun rays later they radiate into the atmosphere the heat that they have absorbed as a result the layer of the air close to the surface gets heated the heat gets transferred vertically to the adjacent upper layers of the air hence air closer to the surface is hotter and as one moves higher up from the surface the temperature of the air decreases the temperature near the sea level is higher and it decreases in the mountainous regions explanation you must have realized that the land cools down earlier than the water the water kept outside in the sun is still a little warm due to this difference in the heating and cooling of land and water the air over the land gets heated faster and also becomes cooler rapidly the air over the water gets heated slowly and also loses the heat in a slower manner in the coastal areas as compared to the continental areas the temperature of air is lower during the day but warmer at night contrary to this the temperature of air in the continental areas is higher during day time and lower at night in the coastal areas because of the heating of the sea water water vapors get mixed in air these water vapors hold the heat in the air as a result the air in the coastal areas remains moist and warm conditions in the continental areas are the opposite as water vapor is absent the air remains dry this leads to the sharp differences in the day and night temperatures the difference in the maximum and minimum temperatures of a day is called diurnal range of temperature in short the difference in the day and night temperatures is less in the coastal areas and more 
in the continental areas for example mumbai temperature are even but at nagpur they vary a lot in the coastal region of kokan the range of temperature is less but in vidarbha the range of temperature is found to be higher therefore coastal areas have an equable climate whereas in continental areas the climate is extreme for example the climate of mumbai is equable whereas in continental locations like nagpur it is extreme the difference in the mean temperatures of summer and winter is called annual range of temperature do you know effect of greenhouse gases some gases in the atmosphere like carbon dioxide and water vapor can hold the heat within themselves for a long period of time due to these gases the temperature of air in the atmosphere increases the increasing proportion of these gases in the atmosphere leads to climate change climate scientist believes that this is the reason for the increasing temperature of the earth this change in climate is global this is called global rise in temperature the gases due to which the temperature increases are called greenhouse gases can you tell find the range of temperature at mumbai nagpur and srinagar draw bar graphs for the same annual range of temperature in degree celsius region mumbai the minimum temperature is 20.5 and the maximum temperature is 32 degree celsius second region is nagpur minimum temperature is 22 degree celsius and maximum temperature is 44 degree celsius third region is srinagar minimum temperature is 2.5 degree celsius and maximum temperature is 24 degree celsius let's draw the graph students on this graph minimum temperature is shown by black color bar and maximum temperature is shown by red color bar mumbai the minimum temperature is 20.5 degree celsius and maximum temperature is 32 degree celsius nagpur minimum temperature is 22 degree celsius and maximum temperature is 44 degree celsius srinagar minimum temperature is 2.5 degree celsius and maximum temperature is 24 degree celsius so we can conclude that the annual range of temperature of mumbai is 11.5 nagpur is 22 and srinagar is 21.5 our observations show us that the climate of mumbai is equable as the range of temperature is less and the climate of nagpur and srinagar is extreme as the range of temperature is very high what will you do you stay at man in satara district your grandma stays at vengurla in sindhudurga district during diwali You often visit Vengurla. You like the sea coast there. The warm air of that region attracts you because you are freed from the dry air and scratching cold of your place. This time grandma is suffering from asthma. Doctors have advised her to stay at a place which has a drier climate. What should you do? Instead of going to Vengurla I should invite my grandma to Man in Satara so she feels better. Hmm?